Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there is unbelievable. This Friday, there is going to be a total eclipse of the sun. It's also the spring equinox. We also know that CERN is going to be cranked up to its highest speed, trying to collide those protons in that CERN, traveling at the speed almost of light when these protons collide could create we don't know what. It might just open the port as a hell. Well, while we're worried about that and the fact that... <laughs> that we have a total eclipse, which is going to affect power grids because there's going to be darkness over Europe. Could affect power grids. Throw at it a solar storm of biblical proportions. Here's what I mean. I want to thank uh, Precious for sending this to me, but a severe, a severe solar storm may disrupt the power satellites. And take a look at that aurora that was seen last night up in some of the northern uh, nations. A pair of solar eruptions on the sun over the weekend have unleashed a severe geomagnetic storm that could disrupt the power grids and communications on Earth, according to U.S. officials. The storm ranks as a G4 on a scale of 5, according to the National Oceanic Atmospheric uh, administration or NOAA. Uh, today, we are experiencing a severe, and this was <clears throat> uh, ge geomagnetic storm, says Thomas Berger, the director of Space Weather Prediction Center. Uh, he goes on to say residents of Alaska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Washington State, North and South Dakota have already reported Seeing the northern lights, the aurora, and Europe is expected to be able to witness the aurora from the storm by nightfall, according to officials. Now, the geomagnetic storm resulted from two significant eruptions of the sun's coronal, uh, coronia, which, of course, releases those CMEs, corona mass ejections, that uh, took place back on Sunday, March the 15th. These two eruptions combined into one eruption, one sort of larger shock front traveling and intersecting the Earth's orbit today. So we're feeling it yesterday afternoon, last night, and today we are feeling it. Wow, isn't that something? As Benjamin Netanyahu was winning the election, the sun was erupting with massive solar flares, and the Earth was experiencing a geomagnetic storm of four on a scale of five being the highest it can be. It's equivalent to a Category 4 on a Category 5 hurricane scale, but in the geomagnetic sphere, and that does affect satellite communications, power grids, and what have you, all right? So you've got these things going on right now, and then throw at that, throw in there, the CERN. And is it opening the pits of hell while the heavens are falling? Let me see if I can say that. What? Is, is the CERN opening the pits of hell while the sky is falling? The Bible said there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. We just had, we just had Cyclone Pam just destroy Vanuatu. For the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven, the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming with power and great glory. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, Jesus said, look up, lift up your heads for your redemption is drawing nigh. Wow, I'm telling you folks, whatever's going on in the spiritual world, many, many, many times manifests in the physical. Remember, the seven craters in Siberia, Russia, in the Yamal Peninsula, known as the end of the world. Those seven craters have been opening up. 
the same time that ISIS has been rampaging with its demonic terroristic attacks of Christians and uh, reluctant Muslims to fall under the sword of the Sharia law. Radical Islamic group of, the, of ISIS, which is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. And while the gates of hell are opening, ISIS is running around as if a demonic army killing, murdering, raping, attacking, and all, and all the things they're doing, crucifying, beheading the Christians and others. Are you serious? Are you saved? We got to put this all into perspective. All of this into perspective. We have a blood moon coming, Passover, April 4th. First, the total eclipse of the sun on the spring equinox, on the first day of the month of Nisan of the Jewish calendar, while Netanyahu wins his election and the solar flares are erupting and the geomagnetic storm is happening and the CERN is cranking. Are you serious? No, here's a better question. Are you saved? Do you have Christ in your life? Because we're running out of time. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. You know, the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. So you can call on the Lord Jesus Christ for forgiveness. Ask him into your heart and you shall be saved.